TLDW, you don't care about the whole review and you just need to know which one to buy, get this one. This one's better. And now I'll tell you why. Many people who are getting into Dungeons and Dragons for the first time, either as players or dungeon masters, are going to look at one of two things to start with, either the starter set or the essentials kit. And unfortunately due to naming, the starter set sounds like the one you should start with. And that was true until this came out. Now really at face value, both the starter set and the essentials kit offer you the exact same thing for new dungeon masters and players, the beginning to Dungeons and Dragons and the easy way to get into the game itself. However, when you actually look down into the nitty gritty details about it, the starter set doesn't give you as much as the essentials kit does, and the essentials kit just has a better story overall. Now inside the box you get a variety of different things and a lot of them are the same across the boxes, but there is some notable differences. For example, in the starter set you get a 64 page adventure book with everything the dungeon master needs to get started, 32 page rule book for playing characters from level one to five, five pre-generated characters, each with a character sheet and supporting reference material, and six game dice. The essentials kit, however, has the same 64 page rule book. However, it teaches you how to get from levels one to six, jumping from one to five, double-sided poster map, a dungeon screen, six blank character sheets, 11 dice, and 81 cards describing magic items, sidekicks, and more. These cards are incredible for new DMs and players. Because these cards offer a variety of different things. For example, once you guys get into combat, you can give everyone one of these initiative cards, which has your place in the initiative order on each side. And anytime one of your characters gets a magic item on the adventure, you can give them the exact magic item card that has all the details you need printed on it. And if you feel you don't have enough adventurers for your party, maybe you only have one or two players, you can give them a sidekick with a picture of what they look like and their stats on the other side. The starter kit doesn't have any of that. Also a nitpicky thing that maybe it's just me, but I, I, something that I really enjoy when an adventure kind of tells you what it's gonna be like on the front cover. The whole term don't judge a book by its cover is bullshit when it comes to Dungeons and Dragons because the cover art for many adventures usually tells you either who the villain is in the adventure or at least gives you an idea of what you're going to be dealing with in the adventure. The starter set adventure, Lost Minds of Fandalver, shows a green dragon on the cover art. And yes, the green dragon is in the adventure, but spoilers, they're not the primary antagonist. Unlike the essentials kit, where the adventure is Dragon of Ice Spire Peak, oh, the Dragon of Ice Spire Peak is on the box, so you will be fighting this at the end of the adventure. And more spoilers for Lost Minds of Fandalver, the fight at the very end is against a drow, not even a dragon. And yes, drow are very pivotal to D&D, and it's a Sure, it's a cool fight, but dragon. If this is your first time playing Dungeons and Dragons, you wanna fight a dragon. And thankfully the essentials kit lets you do just that. It's also the reason it goes to level six instead of level five to at least give you a fighting chance against the dragon. And it's not just the ending fight that's better. The overall structure of the campaign is just far better written. The starter set is very newbie friendly to both DMs and players, giving you descriptions and details for everything that you need to do, but the Essentials Kit is just better. The story is much more fun. It's a lot more open for your characters to choose what they want to do and where they want to go. The characters are far more interesting. And again, you actually fight a dragon at the end of it. The Essentials Kit also just gives you more dice than the starter set. And if the starter set is meant to be shared with everybody, you're going to be passing that one set of dice around constantly. And if you can have more dice, it's always better to have more dice. So again, the Essential Kit wins. And the last thing I'll touch on is that the starter set gives you five pre-generated characters which is great for people who don't know how to build a character yet and they just want to get in and play and they don't really care about making a character they just want to learn how to play that is fantastic and you can do that with the essentials kit but the essentials kit lets players really discover how to make a character way more which in my opinion is a good thing because you eventually want your players to be making their own characters with their own ideals bonds flaws and opinions and what have you and you want them to be able to do it themselves and not have to worry about pre-generated characters Characters. And the other thing with pre-generated characters, which maybe is not a big deal for someone who's brand new to D&D and doesn't really know the workings about it, but a lot of times you as the player will want to do something differently than your character will do. And for experienced players,
players, they don't have to worry about this all too often, but for new players, they'll be like, I don't really want to go in there, but apparently my guy is exceptionally adventurous and doesn't care about the odds, so I guess I'm going in there, and then they'll feel kind of eh about it, even though that's what their character would do. Versus if you actually made a character that does that, and you personally don't like it, but at least you made the character like that, so now you can sleep in the bed that you made. So all in all, if you are getting into Dungeons and Dragons for the first time, or you know somebody who's getting into Dungeons and Dragons for the first time, and they want to just get really into the thick of it and start as both a DM and a group of players all brand new to the game, this is the box to get. The starter set here in Canada is somewhere around 15 to 20 Canadian dollars, whereas the essential kit, I've never seen it priced higher than $25. Now, if you're over starter sets and essentials kits and you just want a full-blown campaign that you can really sink your teeth in, why don't you sink your teeth into this review of Curse of Strahd? This is probably one of the best campaigns ever written, and I highly recommend you check it out. And if that one doesn't meet your fancy, then you can check out a whole list of different campaigns I've reviewed up here. Thank you very much for watching and thank you very much to my patrons for supporting me on this journey. I appreciate you all exceptionally much. Exceptionally much. Did I fucking just really say that?